I got to get out of the friend zone. Uh, men or women find themselves in the friend zone. You got a friend that you found out you're attracted to. Now you're trying to find a way to change that relationship. Oh, it's tricky. It's precarious. <laughs> but you can do it. It can be done. You can take the right steps. First step you have to do is this. Think about it. Are your feelings real? It doesn't take a genius to realize that your friend is attractive. In fact, all rom-coms are based on this premise that, oh, she's got glasses on. I can't see how beautiful she is. She takes them off. Oh, my goodness, look at her. It doesn't take a genius to realize she's beautiful. But it does take a genius to take a moment to think, okay, is it more than just my attraction? Is there something deeper there? Think about that before you step out onto that island and actually ask your friend out on a real date. Number two, test the waters. You know what I'm talking about. Say little sly things, little flirty things. Hey! And she how, see how they respond. You know what I'm saying? Little things like, oh man, well, you know, our kids would be so hot when we get older. They're gonna be great. If she says something like, I know, right, with your cheekbones or whatever the case may be, you're like, mm, she's thought about that. She's thought about that. Little sly things. Let's kind of plant the seeds and see how they, uh, how they respond. Number three, show another side of yourself. Sure, your buddies, you hang out, it's usually kind of casual, right? But then one night you decide, hey, let's go hang out. And you step up your game a little bit. Don't get too dressed up, but step it up a little bit so that that person can see you in a different light. Be like, oh, okay, you got some style, you got some swag, you kind of clean up well. They start <laughs> to see you in a different light, and then that light bulb goes off in their head. And now what you've done, you're still planting that seed. You continue to move forward, but don't make this mistake here. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. So this person may have had a serious breakup. Maybe they're kind of uh, torn up about that. You might think, hey, this is my time to get in. Mm mm. That is the wrong time to get in. There's so much other stuff happening with that person right now. They can't really consider what it is that you're trying to propose to them. So timing is everything. You may think a moment of weakness is your opportunity, but actually it is not. And then the most important thing, be clear. What are your intentions? Is it just something you're curious about? You're like, hey, let's just try it and see what it is. Or you decided hey. after four or five years, you're the one. Like, I'm a huge fan of the soap opera rom-com declaration of love. I love it. You're the one. You're the one. You've always been the one, Darcy. And I just realized it today. That is the best thing ever. But before you do that, make sure that it's something that is real and make sure you have long term intentions. You can get out of the friend zone. It's tricky, but you can do it if you take the right steps. To find out more, go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date. Man up or woman up for making that transition when you're ready. Also, coming up later on today, you know we're talking sports on the radio from 12 to 3. Little show we do on Sports 1140 KCK. It's called The Lowdown. Lowdown! Thank you so much. With myself, Ken Rudolph, Damian Barling. Jason is um, off today. We're going to be talking with comedian Sinbad. Yeah. Whoa, what? That guy. He's in town to perform. We're going to talk to him. It's coming up later on. Good day continues after this. Boom.